because we've got about 23,000 litres of um, flour to move. Actually more than that. Having the tomatoes on the trailer is not going to be the most ideal situation because um, probably not a good idea to stack thousand litre crates of uh, flour on top of them. That's two. We got six. So I can double stack these and then stack flour on the front. We'll stop at the um, Maypole exports to get all this sold and then we'll trek over to the bakery and get the um, the bread once this is empty Oop. I don't know if this is going to work out too well for me not disconnect the fork reconnect the fork and then it just drags out and then we'll Ooh, close so yeah farm sim physics the forks still bug out but uh, if you re if you disconnect the fork and reconnect it it will um, the sort of the mechanism that holds pallets on the forks will reset itself so you can then just slide the fork out of the pallet oh how's about not tipping that one over that would be a super awesome plan Okay, I think the uh, wise move here is to strap that down. Go grab the last two. And then the reason I don't use this, the market for sales most of the time is because it doesn't give me environmental bonus for sales. So export does. So we get bonus income if I sell at the export. And this is where the linden would actually come in handy because crab steering all of that sort of thing. Okay. There it is. Ha, gotcha. Oh, that's another glitched palette. But again, we can recover. Disconnect the fork, reconnect the fork, and then reverse it straight out, and nothing untoward happens. Yay, let's strap that on as well. All right, let's go get some flour. As I said, flour is direct sale at the moment because there's just too much flour down at the uh, grain mill. Bakery, the thing. Okay. 
go there. Drop that off. Go get the spike. Alrighty, that's uh, done with the Massey for now. And for years I did not use, actually, that mounts a lot higher on the, the bracket than the pallet fork does. Pallet fork drags on the floor. That can't even get to the floor. That's okay, because bales you don't want the spike on the floor. One quick check here. We have less than 200 litres of seed and fertiliser. Okay, I will check what prices they're currently going for, even though I'm not selling them locally. Fabric, raisins, tomatoes. So Maypole Export's actually the better price anyway. Okay, and flour. Flour. Where is flour? Loads of stuff at the bottom. Flour, 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 more flour, eggs, wool, milk, things, flour. Bakeries 486, 482 at exports, 466 at supermarkets. So selling at exports is actually better all round, plus we get a bonus. And I think our um, environmental bonus is currently running around 15%. So that's a good bonus income from everything we're selling here. How about some cab driving for a while? Good grief, this tractor needs a clean. So one of the things we've discovered is if you don't clean your equipment, the paint condition worsens quicker. So a clean tractor, the paint doesn't chip quite as quickly as a dirty tractor. Maintenance is unaffected by cleanliness. So, we can, yeah, you don't need to clean your tractors in order to keep the maintenance bill down. We'll nip through here because it's the quick way to get to there. Um, this field not yet cultivated. Do need to keep be careful as we turn in places because pallets do get stuck on hedges pallets and uh, bales get stuck on hedges regardless of whether there's a pole in the way and traffic okay um, I think the easiest way to do this is turn us around that way. And those pallets are not the best stacked. As the front of the trailer is clear of that wall, it should be fine. Oh, actually, no, that's very bad. Let's try that one again. Okay, so long as the front of the trailer is clear of that wall and we're not blocking any pallets, that would be the most ideal positioning for this. That looks absolutely fine. Stick it in drive, turn it off, 
and jump out. Okay, let's use... We got two of these now, both of them we picked up during store sales. Okay, I should be able to pick pallets up two at a time. Uh, so long as I actually stab them in the right place. Let's try for better stabbiness. There we go. straight backwards I can just go and pick the second one up. Not how you're supposed to do it but hey you know if it works don't knock it. And I think I said we had 23,000 litres of flour here And this being much shorter wheelbase than the uh, Massey Ferguson, the uh, the placement accuracy of pallets is generally a lot easier. Although the realism of the uh, Stacking may not be quite so awesome. Okay. Come on, spawn another one. Do I have to go back further? So I stack the tomatoes on the wrong side. So getting a stack of flour at the back of the truck's going to be a little bit more tricky, I guess. I might do uh, slide the tomatoes over to the far side of the uh, deck so that there's enough room to get two more pallets of flour before we depart. And I'll stack it too high so. We might actually get all of the flour on the uh, on the bed before we're done. It's not entirely straight. And again, not a standard trailer for me, but I've, I tend to find the Roland equipment is very, very expensive for what you get. But, that said, if it comes up in a sale, I'm not going to uh, stick my nose up at it. I'm guessing this should actually be some quite good income. 
Next month will be the uh, silage sales, obviously. I hope that gap to the right is big enough for another row. However, I think I'll start doing a double stack at the front and strap down what we have on there. Thirty-seven hours on this thing. Still a little sad, I did not, I did have the opportunity to buy a, uh, a skid steer, Kubota skid steer, and unfortunately we just missed out on that. I didn't think I needed it, and then it turned out, you know, I could have used it. Primarily because this thing is... While it's much more versatile than a um, forklift, it has the height, but it also has the reach of a U hoop, um, the reach of a tally handler. Okay, let me, as we will now demonstrate, because, whoops. Oh, that's the reason we're knocking the far pallets is because the forks stick out a little bit too far. But I can slide that forward a bit, lower it on the deck, and we ah, and get bugged. Okay, get bugged. Disconnect. Connect, slide it out. Not really what I had planned. Okay, close your eyes, everybody. least it's the right side up so I can now shuffle around until we are at the right angle to stab it of the forks. That hopefully is good enough. And the reason for that is if the forks are sticking out the back it might adjust the, uh, the pallets already on the uh, trailer which I kind of like to avoid. Ugh. Okay, let's um, strap you down. All right, let's, uh, after that debacle, let's go again. 
Okay, that's a cereal factory behind us which needs lots of things that we don't grow. I mean, at worst, we'll get 16, 18 on the back of the truck, tractor, thing. Which may be okay. Gotcha. Keep the wheels on the floor. Ugh. Okay. Surprisingly, not glitched. Oh, jeez, no, no. Caught ya. It's all wonderful. Let's uh, retract the reach of that a bit. Okay. Another pallet. Another stack of pallets. That's good. Oh, that nearly uh, ended in disaster. I suppose we could... Slide the forks in a little. That's that's what I did wrong. While I was trying to address the reach on the uh, the telescope, I did adjust the fork position. And gotcha. Okay. Like I said, I have a bugged pallet fork. Pallet, pallet fork, all the things, all the stuff, and that really mess things up. Okay. I'm going to push that there. That's a good start. I wonder if I can pick up the pallet fork now and it'll all just drop into place or whether it'll explode and head halfway across the map. Because that's always fun too. Uh, need to be in reverse, need to put that down, need to back up straight and... Well, good recovery. Last two. This last two for the front. Then we're going to see if we can fit two more between the uh, flower already on the uh, trailer and the tomatoes. Cool. 
reports lots of concentration. How are we doing? Oh, it's it's actually 12.15 real time, so I need to keep an eye out for people coming home. Because that's what people do when they're not here. Okay. Drop that carefully where it needs to be. And very carefully back out without tipping scales. There we go. Well actually that one worked better. Okay, I'm going to unhitch that and slide that over a bit. Now hopefully that means I can get four more on there. And then we'll stack two more level with that row of tomatoes that I just moved. I'll do a quick check, see how much flour we have here. So what, six pallets spawned plus what's in the, uh, the production. This is going to be tight. I think it's going to be possible. <coughs> sort of. Or not possible at all. Uh, we are going to have to uh, shuffle things a bit because the problem is that got rotated and that. Okay. It looks fine, so we'll call it fine. Oh, tomato pallets are actually shorter than uh, flour, just noticed. Okay, last two for that bit. Okay, that's 10. Like a, is that 10? No, that's 20. I think the factory had 23 to spawn and 6 on the outside. So, uh, we'll drop that where it needs to be. extricate ourselves from the uh, mess that is what it is. Okay, and finally, it might actually be possible to stack these sideways rather than lengthways, whatever. 